Hello everybody and welcome to Romance Will's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading and it is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, um, if ever you do you would like to have your own reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com and it will be my great pleasure to send you the different type of readings that I can offer you so that we can go and find those answers that you're searching for. Also, if you do enjoy the channel, please do click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be greatly appreciated. So with no further ado, we are going to begin this reading. Uh, we're going to begin right now. So uh, once again, this reading here is for the sign of Leo. So we're going to be talking about the truth, and this is going to be coming from your higher self, channeled, new life by the Divine Mother, and I also have Master Teacher who wants to speak about purpose. So let's begin over here with truth, which is from your higher self. Now this of course is all about honesty, it's about clarity, it's about discipline, and it's about intellect also. Your higher self is present and it is activating your powers, your powers of reason and intellect. It asks that you develop clarity and objectivity when looking at your life. Rather than interpreting events through the murky and distorted waters of emotion that we do also very often. You need to strive to see the reality of what happened in the past so that you can acquire a more accurate understanding of what's going on. You may notice things that make you uncomfortable or challenge your ethics. Ask your higher self to give you the courage to stand up for your truth and address difficult situations at their core. Rather than distance yourself or pretend that you don't see the real problems because they make you uncomfortable. Like the child in the fairy tale, the emperor's new clothes, your higher self is motivating you not only to see life more deeply, but to also share your perceptions with those that are around you. Now, this is the time, for example, to address your unbalanced budget and look for ways to cut corners. Now, it's also the time to acknowledge your ever-expanding waistline and seek out what's really eating at you. This is when you need to step away from your emotions and dispassionately study the problem at hand so that you can come to a solution without blame and projection. You need to ask yourself what the problem is, not who the problem is. Only then you can begin to find solutions with productive outcomes. Now, your higher self is sharpening your perception and clarifying your views so that you can make important and necessary changes at this time. When the diagnosis is correct, your healing is going to begin. And your higher self's message is, look for the truth behind all appearances. So this was your message from your higher truth. We're now going to move along to the Divine Mother. This is about whether you're a man or you're a woman, you're feminine, earthy side is in full bloom. Now the wishes, the dreams, the desires that you've carried in your heart are now gestating in the divine womb and are coming into fruition. If you're a woman, this signals a time of conception, of pregnancy, and of birth. If you're a man, this is a time for your creativity to take form in the real world. If you're married or partnered, this may signal the children are on their way. Whatever you seek to create, it's happening. The song in your heart will find its voice and the poetry will be expressed. Even your professional goals will find a home in which to grow. The Divine Mother, the fertile aspect of the Divine Feminine, is gracing your life right now. 
and with her influence, your artistic and creative expressions come alive. Now, if you've been feeling sterile, stagnant, and too controlled, she's here to loosen things up and to get your creative juices flowing. Surrender your mind and allow your soul to come alive in her embrace. She is with you and her influence is powerful. Her message, new life, is on its way. What a beautiful message that is. And we're going to um, conclude here with the final message that I have, which is all about purpose. And this is going to be about a master teacher. So this is about consistency. It's about dedication. It's about reliability. And it's about faithfulness. You're beginning to stride into your purpose. Work is no longer a struggle. And your master teacher is guiding you along the way. The more aligned you become with your life's proper path, the more your days will flow with ease. You'll lose track of all the barriers as you go with the flow and throw your heart and soul into your efforts. Your dedication will pay off in the long run, but even this isn't important. Your efforts are their own reward. Doing what you love so well and so faithfully fulfills you. Your challenge is to resist the temptation to push yourself to exhaustion. You need to remain measured and steady. And don't overlook the importance of taking a day of rest at least once a week. Your master teacher is pleased with your progress, but reminds you that even though you may love your work and feel that you could work forever, your body and mind do get fatigued. Develop the wisdom to know when to step away and fresh your soul. Your master teacher's message is to simply pace yourself. Now, following with The Universe Has Your Back, I have My Faith Has the Power to Turn Trauma into Healing, Conflict into Growth, and Fear into Love. And the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. So this being said, this is the ending of your reading of Your Spirit Guide and the others. Um, if you do have any questions, um, please do contact me if you'd like a reading. Same thing. I hope it resonated. I hope you can apply it. I wish you a blessed day. Thank you for being there and I'll be seeing you tomorrow.